Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at what happened in the first half of the season and how the transfer window has gone. So for the season itself, the league, we are in 16th place I think. Yeah, 16th place with uh, basically with the same number of um, games as all the rest of the teams except somehow Salford and Wigan. So uh, yeah, we could be in front of Salford depending on you know how points and stuff go ahead in the next few weeks. But uh, essentially, we've been in 16th or thereabouts for quite a while now. If you look at the graph, been pretty consistently around that ballpark. So that's probably where we're going to end up at the end of the season, which is pretty good considering we've just been promoted and we have no money for investment in players. Talking about players, we. Uh, managed to make one change in the transfer window. We got a new midfielder, central midfielder, Kirst Curtis Morton on loan from Cardiff. Uh, is a new gen, obviously. The only other change that we did is um, remember I told you in the last episode that I actually got uh, two new attacking midfielders left. One of them, I, I stuck in the under-21s just to kind of keep it as a reserve. But he's progressed really well and um, I've actually now put him in the senior team. So Marcello Duggan, all known from Bournemouth, uh, is now playing with us in the senior team. And in the meantime, I relegated Ferrell to uh, mentor the uh, under 21s. He's 27, but we can have up to five over 21s in the under 21s. So he's there mentoring and all that. So I don't know how they're doing for the league. I think they're nearly last, but yeah, not so great in the league. Ne ne nearly last. Just had a south end. And the other 21s, sorry, the under 18s are doing okay. Not as well as last season. The youth intake was not as good as last season either. So they're not being able to hold on to first. But they are doing well for the Cup. They lost against Newcastle for the FA Cup in the fourth round. But they are going to what seems to be the semi-final. Yeah, semi-final for the um, South Cup for the third division. So, uh, yeah don't know how these teams compare. I think they're pretty poor in comparison from what I gather. So they will probably... Oh, well, Charlton is doing really well. So they probably go to the final with Charlton and then probably lose maybe against Charlton, but we'll keep an eye on that. No other changes to report. Again, the squad has been pretty consistent uh, for the last few years, so we've got a lot of cohesion. Hero finally made it to a uh, team leader as a vice captain. So that's that's all going well. Finance-wise, I'm even afraid to look. Yeah, we're well over a million now in uh, in debt. So this is the area of the club that's concerning me because we don't have money, we can't invest in players, which means we're going to be struggling going forward to uh, improve the squad. So we might stagnate a little bit and um, be stuck in this league for a while, but we'll see. Now, next up, we're playing against Sheffield Wednesday. It is, in fact, Saturday. But... Um, yeah, so Sheffield Wednesday, we are going to play against them. They are currently third, so it's probably going to be a tough match. We have a few pl players injured. Main goalkeeper, one of our defenders. But I think we're pretty okay. Our, our players tend to interchange quite well, including the goalkeepers. They uh, That's the reason why I keep a... a, a, like a as much as I can, um, as much as I can, the top twenty-two, all of them could be first team, you know, players, as in like first pick. So, um, so when people are injured, you know, this the substitute isn't too far behind them in terms of quality. So, there are obviously a few positions of concern, especially the right side of attack, attacking midfielder right. We've not updated that. Um, side possibly I I kind of want to say seven years now <laughs> I'm not sure if that is true but um, I, I kind of want to say seven years so they, we've been stuck since what is that National League Van, Van Rama National 
I'll have a look at that in a minute, but we have not been able to update them. Uh, other positions of concern. Goalkeeping is starting to be a bit of a weakness now. It was actually last year one of our strongest points, but this year not so much. Sorry, not, not last year, sorry, the year before. The year before it was one of our strongest points, but then last year started to show some weaknesses. This year definitely showing some weaknesses. Um... Defense tends to be pretty good compared to everyone else. And then strikers, yeah, it's a bit hit and miss. They're not very consistent, our strikers, that's the issue. Some, some games they do really, really well, some games not so much. So it's, uh, I think it just depends on the opposition they get. Lots of highlights already in this match, it's only seven minutes in, but uh, Sheffield Wednesday is really giving us a fight. 1-0 up already for them. Let me see if I can just pause here for a minute and put the little table up so we can see how that goes live. Pretty good, good result. If we stay around 16th, um, then then we don't have to like worry about a relegation. And um, Dylan kind of just <laughs> lost himself there. Um, yeah, and then we can build on that for next year, hopefully. Oh no! I thought there was going to be a goal. Yeah, our goalkeeping is really showing that they're not good enough for this league. I'm hoping that, like, if we stay in this league, obviously next year we won't be new to it. So we might be able to attract some better loans from young players, bigger teams. Be like, um,. Duggan at the moment uh, from from Bournemouth. If we can have more loans like that from young players from big teams, then I think we can get somewhere. Half time, lots of subs to do, I think. Uh, and also, he's injured. He's not complaining about it. I think they've removed the feature where the player gives you some feedback on whether they think they can continue. Which is a bit annoying if they've done that, because that's actually pretty good. Uh, I'm going to risk him keeping them on. It might go... It might go south, but... Well, we'll see. So I'm going to put Austin in midfield. In fact, I'm going to swap him with Hill. And um, we're going to have two central midfielders. There we go. there attacking midfielder right showing lots and lots of weaknesses now in this league mainly like fighting for the ball they, they can't fight for the ball they, they don't have the physicality to do so right okay last sub we're gonna have Harrison in Lots of yellow cards for Sheffield, which could be good for us if 
they get a, um, a red card all of a sudden. That could um, play into our hand. Poor Duggan, he's struggling with that injury. I think he's playing quite poorly as well because of it, maybe. Passing in this little section. We'll see what would they do with it. Ah, poor pass there. I think it's probably Adam's fault. He probably didn't doesn't have the physicality to reach the ball in time. Dropping down to 18th. Seventeenth now. Looks like that's probably it. Probably not much more to this game. There we go. It's a 1-0 loss, which is not too bad against third placed. Um, pretty happy with that, to be fair. Right, so I will crack on and see you guys again at the end of the season. We'll see how this season goes. I'll catch up with you then. Take care. Bye-bye.